Right, it's happening. I can't bloody hold it in any longer. For too long I've wandered round this soggy tea bag of an island, bearing witness to its slow demise, wondering why the fuck people do the things they do. And most of the time I just find it somewhere in my heart to have a bit of compassion. But there comes a time when a man can no longer keep his mouth shut and he succumbs to the burning desire to shout in the face of ignorance. So I sink deep, deep into the mind to surface the words that can most eloquently put my point across and I say it come. So what the fuck are you lot doing panic buying all the toilet roll? Honestly, I just can't get my fucking head round it. I mean, the new as a nation, we weren't exactly the smartest roll in the pack. In fact, if I was to describe where we stood in the global bog roll hierarchy, we definitely wouldn't be queen and country's triple ply, lavender scented, ch 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 charming, extra soft rolls. No, 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 no. We would probably be sad somewhere between those giant rolls of public restroom paper that have no perforations and tear off inside of a locked fucking paper prism leaving you marooned on an island of difficult decision or that literal brown paper sheets the sorts you find in your local village or some sort of cheap French camping resort you know, the type of paper that feels like you're wiping your ass with an angrily screwed up parking fine while a bunch of cigarette smoking French people sit back and laugh at all these stupid English people wiping their ass with a paper bag to say not know about the wonders of the baby. Yes, we fucking do. And instead of swallowing an ounce of our pride and agreeing that not only is a bidet, pronounced bidet like filet or mignon or admitting that bidets could actually be a fantastic solution to an impending ecological crisis that destroys millions of trees a year or that it is categorically the best way to clean yourself after a shit but still we spend billions of our hard-earned pennies on tiny white bits of paper so that we could continue aimlessly smearing shit further into our asses Screaming no until our faces turn blue, white and red before we ever adopt anything fucking posh or worse still, French. Except for zucchini, we'll still call that fucking cozy yet. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, toilet paper. How the fuck did I get to vegetables? I'm going bloody mad. Somebody, please help me understand this bloody toilet roll epidemic. Why are we fucking even buying it? Regardless or not, if we truly are entering, quite possibly, one of the most difficult financial, physical and mental periods of our times, I'll even humour the word apocalyptic. And even then, what fucking use is toilet roll? Nah, I understand that toilet paper could have many uses. As a kid, I discovered the wonders of twisting it into a spike and tissue fucking my own nose in the mirror until I sneezed myself into a snotty orgasmic bliss. But even with this fond memory tainting my judgment, I still find it difficult to understand why anyone preparing to hunker down for the long haul prioritised toilet roll over the many other thousands of more important things that you could pile into your shopping trolley. Not that you should be panic buying anything at all, but if you are, an ounce of forethought is going to be appreciated by future you. Trust me. I mean, I'm an eccentric guy, but I'm willing to make myself more vulnerable to expose my most intimate and guilty secrets. So I've got a confession to make. Every day. Ish. For the last 25 years, I've been cleaning my ass with my own fingers. And before that, my fucking parents did it for me. What do you think of that? Each night, sometimes mornings, sometimes both, I've been covering my naked body in hot water and slimy, sweet-smelling liquids and lathering it into every crack and crevice of my body, paying particular and special attention to my penis, testicles and anus areas and scrubbing any remnants of dirt away with my bare fucking hands. And worst of all, I enjoy the sensation. So, 
If I'm brutally honest, I relish the thought of a worldwide toilet roll shortage. Not only does that mean that I can skip off into the forest in a self-indulgent eco-warrior victory, having a fucking hippie wank with the trees, knowing that another one of the world's most wasteful processes has finally come to a halt, but this also means that due to my finely tuned and efficient digestive system, I might get up to three more visits to the bubbly thought portal to wash away one of the most satisfying itches ever to plague the body. And don't tell me that you don't know what I'm talking about, because you fucking do. Personally, I would jump at the opportunity to have a freshly washed post poop butt after every visit to the toilet and happily never spend another cent on something I literally wipe shit on and then flush away into a dark, deep abyss. Now, I would like to hope that most people, at the very least, have access to a shower, and if not, then a tap, and even in a pinch, a garden fucking hose. And if we are destined for apocalyptic times, then I would like to remind people that we are on an island surrounded by fucking water. And that island is inundated with streams, rivers, lakes, and water literally falls from the sky 80% of the fucking year. And even if... Things run out completely and in months from now you find yourself struggling to feed your family, ushering out rations of stale Cheerios and teaspoons of out-of-date peanut butter, bodies withering away in a state of despair, at which point your digestive system's probably so fucked from the lack of fruit and vegetables that you haven't been eating, you'll be lucky if you're straining out one shit a week. Regretfully now, staring at your stock pile of toilet rolls thinking you probably should have bought some dried fruits or some savalon to soothe the piles now tenderly protruding from your constipated arm. Who are these people? I'll tell you who they are. Honestly, the mindlessness is just unbearable. Just the other day, a friend of mine was in the queue at the pharmacy for some prescription medication, and despite it being immediately obvious when you walked in with signs all over the walls and doors explaining that they had no toilet roll, both of those two men in front of him asked for fucking toilet roll. The first was quickly turned away and left, kind of embarrassed, but the second became irate with staff, begging in desperation that they at least sell him some hand tissues because he hadn't had a shit in three fucking days. What? Mate. You are a grown fucking man, and if you don't know how to clean your own ass in the absence of toilet paper, then you have much bigger problems, and I'm afraid that things are not looking good for you in the future of this unravelling chaos. It's another example. Before the restrictions kicked in, another friend of my sister's recently went to Tesco's to buy two packs of toilet roll for the restaurant she worked in, because even their suppliers had fucking run out. She was paying for it. Two women with trolleys full with seven million packs of super noodles and five thousand pieces of bread, obscene amounts of food that will undoubtedly all be thrown away in a couple of weeks, started giving it all that. Being like, why are they buying all that toilet bowl then? What's she doing buying all that toilet bowl? Look at her, she's probably the one that's all running out because of her, look. She's fucking buying it all herself, selfish bitch. But even after calmly explaining that it was for her work, she basically got shouted out the fucking store crying, probably by the very people who would be the first to complain about the restaurant not having any fucking toilet roll after they've just taken a dirty shit. Holy fucking moronicy. Who are these people? Who is actually buying all the toilet roll? No one actually fucking knows. Someone is. It's always fucking someone. It's never you. So let's give this person a fucking name. Mike. Mike's buying all the toilet roll. Is Mike out there all hours of the night in a fucking mini bus full of disguises sneaking around every local shop multiple times over, expressing seven different genders, snapping up every last pack of bog roll that he can get his hands on? Or is it you? If you are lying to everyone's face, while you too secretly prepare for impending doom, then at least make yourself known. 
Number one, so I can sleep at night. And number two, so that when this shit does all hit the fan, we all know which idiot to call to come wipe it all up. Fucking idiot. People like you that fucking put me on the bottle.